Today on Twitter, the main Gemini product lead had announced an upgrade to Gemini 2.5 Pro from the early March release and this is where they have upgraded it to the May preview release which is even better at coding with significant gains in front-end web development, editing and transformation. This update lists the new Gemini 2.5 Pro preview above the Claude 3.7 Sonnet on the web dev arena putting it at a 1420 ELO score, which is actually really good. They also fixed a bunch of function calling issues and made the model more reliable to use. What's interesting is that one of the founding team members had stated that the updated Gemini 2.5 Pro achieves leading performance on our junior dev EVOLs. It was the first ever model that solved one of our EVOLs involving a large refractor of a request rounding backend. It felt like more of a senior developer because it was able to make correct judgment calls and choose good abstractions. This is a crazy statement and it shows that this is definitely going to be an impressive model that we're going to be testing out today. Just take a look at it live in action with the video to learning app demo that shows the Gemini 2.5 Pro creating an interactive learning app from a single YouTube video using enhanced video understanding to generate a complete functional UI which is super easy to actually do now. Here is another example which showcases the model simplifying front-end web development by automatically generating new features like adding a video player to match the style of existing apps in the Gemini 95 starter apps. It eliminates the need for manual inspection of design files and it writes CSS code for you autonomously. So you can see how easy it is for you to develop anything that you request based off of natural language. Now I want you to take a look at this generation by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. It features a simulation, a real-time simulation that is featuring dynamic lighting, a full day-night cycle, and you can see that this was all done with a single prompt that was sent in within the Gemini 2.5 Pro canvas. So this is something that was fully coded out by the model without you even intervening, which is just insane. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, if you're interested in getting started with this model, you can easily head over to the Gemini app and select the Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental. And this is where you can easily get started and generate with this new model. It is free, but I believe there's a rate limit to use it within the Gemini app. So keep that in mind. But you can also use it within Google AI Studio. This is where you can easily go ahead and select this new preview version, the May version for the Gemini 2.5 Pro. So now let's go ahead and test this model out. This is where we're going to use the canvas to go ahead and have us visualize this creation of a CRM dashboard. And I'm simply just saying create a full-on CRM dashboard that has a lot of features. This isn't something that gives a lot of instructions, but I am looking to see how well the model is in terms of its own creativity to add a lot of functions as well as seeing how well the model is in terms of generating this prompt. And there we go. This is the CRM dashboard and I am just truly astonished to see the generation that I was capable of getting from a single prompt guys. It actually has functional pages which is just insane. You have a calendar that has been integrated, your settings tab, new tasks that you can add. I don't believe you can add this yet but you can see that it did get the main gist of the CRM dashboard generated which is just insane guys. This was something that was done with a single prompt that was sent in and this is why this is an incredible model that you should definitely start using for coding tasks because it's going to be cheaper than the Claude 3.7 Sonnet and delivers better performance now. Now guys, in terms of rate limits, this is something that hinders the success or the usage of these models because it restricts you from generating a certain amount after that uh, quota that you've hit. Currently, only Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 have been listed with the amount of usage that you get with these different tiers but the free tier is going to be uh, readily available for a certain amount 
Uh, they haven't listed how much yet, but it should be updated within the next couple of hours. This right here is super interesting. We have the comparison of two different models, the Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview, the May version, which is the release today that we saw, versus the March Preview, which is outright beating the new model that was just released. It is kind of ironic to see that it still outperforms in most areas except coding and video understanding. So in this case, you can still access both of these models, but this model is more geared towards video as well as coding benchmarks or coding tasks. Now, what I want to do next is do a side-by-side -side comparison of generating a SaaS landing page with the Gemini 2.5 Pro versus the Cloud 3.7 Sonnet. I want to compare the generations that I get from these two models. So let's see what these two models are capable of generating. All right, so we can see that the Gemini model was capable of generating this pretty quickly, and you can see that Claude hasn't even finished generating it yet. Now, one thing that I will mention is that the inference on Claude is super slow for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm on a free tier right now using this generation, but currently I find it really hard to get generations out of Claude in the first try in one shot. But something that I saw was that this model, the Gemini 2.5 Pro, did a good job in generating the SaaS page. I'm not going to explore through it yet, but it did it quickly and it actually has a larger context window. So it helps with the generation a bit quicker and better in terms of generating everything in one single shot. So I finally got Claude to generate a landing page and it does look pretty decent. This is the landing page that I got for the SaaS website. It looks pretty sleek, it looks pretty clean. And I do like the generation as well as how simple it looks. But now let's take a look at what the Gemini 2.5 Pro was generating. Now here is the generation from the Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can see there's actual animations that have been added, which is nice. Overall, it does look exactly like a SaaS landing page. Both of them did a great job. I prefer the minimalistic styling with the Cloud model. But in this case, the formatting is better with this Gemini 2.5 Pro generation. Overall, both did a great job, but you can see now that the Gemini 2.5 Pro is capable of being on par and better in certain cases than the Cloud 3.7 Sonnet in web development tasks. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord, where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content plus a lot more. Overall, I think that this new Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview is an amazing added uh, benefit to the Gemini Pro original model. It is definitely enhancing coding capabilities across web development as well as transformation and code editing. So this is something that I'm going to be making more videos on throughout the next couple of days. And it is something that I highly recommend that you take a look at. Maybe using this over Claude 3.7 Sonnet due to the additional context window that you get with the Gemini 2.5 Pro, as well as the cheaper pricing, and now obviously better performance in code generation. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, got some sort of value. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. This is where I'm going to be posting a lot more on daily AI news. Follow me on the newsletter. Make sure you join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.